Wow guys, okay, the ROM have just started. Oh, that's a voice crack right there. The ROM has just started and I hope I can use this. I hope it's smooth. It's upgrading the Android. Oh, okay. It's upgrading the Android, whatever. Uh, let's just open up. You see, I have all of my um, setup and everything is just like before because I didn't want them to get removed even my apps yes okay there's some bloat over here this telegram loader droid okay i don't need them i'm gonna disable or install okay guys on the button okay. there's one more bloat over Hold here them. which is also known as add away disable. can disable that and air command i don't i need to disable that okay i just like the last custom rom oh my god it's working automatic by itself and the device is heating up actually over here this part it's heating a lot I think so I have to take, I'll, I'll open the cover oh my god it's heating over here so much this whole area is heating up so very bad that's why I said the processor cannot handle the custom ROM and that's why they might have some issues so let's just unlock it again and let me show you guys again just like the last custom ROM, the Lineage OS, I suggest you guys to just close the not whatever the thing that we don't need. Just like, oh, okay, that's why. Okay, just close the edge lighting. That's what I think, number one. And yes, I don't need the mobile data because mobile data is making the device way more hot or whatever. All right, another thing is that I will review this custom rom use it for a week and i think so within the next week i hope i can drop the video um i'll drop the video of how i use this in my daily life and how it feels and everything just like the lineage os how i did that you guys can check out all of those videos i'll keep them at the last end cards and i'm oh sorry i'll keep them in the i cards uh, as well as the end screen uh, you can find them everywhere all right um First thing first, I suggest everyone go to the developer options. If you don't know how to enable it, just go to about phone and then go to software information, select build number. I will say five times or three times and then developer mode has already been turned on for you because mine is already on. Okay, so then you just go to developer options, go full down, just go a bit more up and you'll see over here. Window animation scale, always turn them off. This is how you get the best experience from any room like this will be so speed uh, just like me every time I say okay whatever um, then software updates I don't think we are we don't get any update this is full whatever uh, the display option screen mode there is no changes it's useless for you guys to do such settings so just choose basic and just get out uh, the thing I'm why I'm changing the settings because so that you get a best experience because These features are not there for this device then why to turn them on? It's better if you turn them off. That's the best because the QHD full HD HD This device doesn't even have Q QHD It's useless doing this you see it, It's gonna bug out Oh My god, okay And then about the screen zoom and whatever Let's see. Now my notification panel is gone. Uh, small. Yes, I have to have it. Okay, okay, it's back again. Okay. I don't know if it's my eyes or normally. I feel like the texts are a bit blurred. They're very low quality. You can see it's very less sharp. Oh, I don't know it's smooth okay uh, LED indicator you don't need that because your device doesn't have an LED um, I want to keep screen turned off because prevent the screen from turning on accidentally while the device is in a dark place status bar let's see what's there show battery yes show sure. send notification only yes oh, what what if we just select it off okay I want all of my notifications to show yes so edge screen let's see what we have here edge panels okay Okay, just like the note yeah that's what I was talking about the note edge features something like that okay 
did it just get crashed? Did it crash? Okay, I'll just. Oh no. Oh no, okay, okay. I'll have to redo this part. Um, edge screens. Okay, edge panels. Okay, it crashes, so I think it's better if it's off. Edge lighting. It's useless because your device is does, because J7 doesn't have an edge. I suggest to just turn it off so that you don't get any crashes. Just like the last custom ROM. Okay. It seems like it's gonna work, but look, it doesn't function anymore. Okay, I will see if it works later on, but these are a few of the features that you have in the custom room. There are a lot of features actually. I can finish it with one video, but okay, let's just let's see if I can do that. Okay, connections, yeah, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode or whatever, whatever. Sound okay, they're I remember they're brand new ringtones and brand new notifications, sound something something. Let's just see them. Yes, notifications. Oh my God. There are a lot of them. I'll choose them later on while I use them normally for myself. Ringtone. So you have that that sound charging sound yeah while I enter the charger that's the sound did be for a while uh, do not disturb is also here just like our J7 yeah just like every other device notifications to block them and everything oh yeah you have wallpapers and themes there are specific themes um, oh no there are specific wallpapers given by the developer uh, as you can see here I like to oh yeah they'll ask for you to do the update but yeah it's it's that whatever. I'm not going to update such apps because I don't waste my storage. I have few more apps to install or I want to fix it actually. I'll do it later on. But you guys can update it uh, because at the moment if I can show you the settings, my storage. Hope I can show that. Okay. Oh, you don't have the storage. Okay. Let's bring out the smart manager. Yeah, device maintenance. Okay, okay. I guess I have to open my battery and everything. Oh my god, okay. Uh, it's turned off. Turn it back on. It's turning back on. Now let's wait for it to boot again. That's what we have to do. Let's see how long does this take because this is rebooting after we have the custom room flashed. Oh, okay, it started up quick. You see that quad HD or whatever that display size I chose it's causing a huge issue I think so I have to decrease that oh the charge just dropped from 45 or like 51% to 34 okay so display huh. what is HD to HD It's the same, I don't see any difference actually. Okay, let's get advanced features. We were here, right? Okay, floating messages. I don't use my message app much, so I don't need that. You have an app lock, that's great. Uh, just select like app lock, and I think so. There are many apps over here. It's taking ages to open up. Yes, you have a lot of apps to choose from. Just that's it. A smart state doesn't work in this device, no need. S Pen, does S Pen work? I don't have an S Pen, I cannot show you guys, so I'm gonna turn it off. Quick launch camera is pressing it twice. Multi window is there just like the last time. Palm swipe to catcher, last time it had a huge issue. I wanna close that off because I don't need that. Smart alert. 
Oh my god, I don't know. I don't need that. Type share won't work with this app. It's useless. Yes, enhance the quality, whatever. Okay. Next apps. Oh yeah, we have lock screen. There's a bug about the iris scanner. There's no iris uh, scanner in this device, so obviously the iris scanner won't work here. But if you try, you're gonna crash the settings app, and I suggest you to not do that. You see the beacon manager just goes on crashing. You don't do that, and always on display works if you have that file downloaded. So I'll show you guys later on. Um, it's it is in the link or like it's in the XDA developers link to fix the always on and everything. So you guys can go and check it out over there. So let's see about this. Okay, I like that. See the clock style. I cannot understand. I don't have this much time to understand and analog and then do my stuff. I want something really simple. I like this. I think this looks good. I like fully black. Yeah. Show always. Yes. Okay done this was a bug or like an error that doesn't work in g7 unless you if you have this unless if you don't have it. something like that okay whatever i want all of this i'm sorry um notifications yes app shortcuts whatever i have that and then we have accessibility all right you it's used I, I don't need any of the accessibility or whatever general management no I don't need to report anything software updates fine user manual it's gonna open up a Google Chrome or uh, Internet Explorer something like that I knew that uh, okay that's it okay now I can show you guys a few other things this was the thing that needed to set it up okay the edge panel let's try it right now I hope it works Please work. No, it's not working. It don't work, I guess. Okay, whatever. Okay, this is about the multi window. That's it. Let's try the multi window. I want to show you guys. Uh, let's choose YouTube and let's choose. What else should we choose? My files. Okay. Now you hold on and this is the button you just click and it goes to the top and instead of YouTube at the bottom. So now I can do my work. So now oh wait wait. Alright. There's no error just like the last room that I had with the microphone and the speaker. I'm sure, I hope. Okay, let's see. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a customer for Galaxy J7 2015. Also known as the J7. There's no errors in that. So now I can watch my video at down and I can do my work here. Oh, that's great. Hello, H. Hi, model. We're going to be downloading the custom room lineage. Okay, uh, this is another function that I love from all of them okay let's see the device manager i don't think this one okay yeah. we have 6.8 gb free i have so many apps I, I i can't show you guys all of them but i have so many apps over here uh and then you only have around 233 mb of ram free and that's a bit hectic this much lower amount of ram won't be so speed or everything whatever i forgot the developer name please fix the always on display it keeps on restarting and my device is burning over here it turned back up to 50 centigrade i guess it's really really hot i can touch it yet but it's very hot oh my god it's hot this is the fourth time the device is restarting but yeah i'm going to show you guys the camera let me show you the camera now there are a lot of features in the camera but the camera gets hanged as well just like the whole customer okay yes next next yes you can still okay so yeah, the camera works, as you can see. It focused on my hand. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, 
Okay, you guys can see that. Okay, and then we have much more features like Pro, Panorama, Continuous Shot, HDR, uh, Night Shot. It doesn't work because it doesn't have the AI on of that. Food, Beauty Face, Rear Cam Selfie, Text Shot, Spot, Sound and Shot, Animated GIF. Do you have anything else? Nothing. Um, yeah, this is zoom in and the zoom out feature. And you have a video recording. Oh my god, it's zoomed in so much. It's like zoomed in so much. How do I zoom out? Oh, okay, it is zoomed in. I I thought it was due to some software issue or something. Okay, it works. The thing it's not focusing because I have to clear my camera. It's really dirty, I guess. It was on the table for so long. Or maybe I'm too close. I'm having a huge issue with this but whatever i will uh, say all of my issues in my review which is going to be after one week and i hope you guys see that video as well and if that video is dropped after the week uh, it will be in the i card or it will also be in the end screen with the rest of the videos um oh let's check out the settings uh so you guys can check out the review of this custom rom after i'm done using it for a week um yeah and you can also check out my other custom rom video oh, it got hanged oh it just got hanged it doesn't work anymore I can't take pictures, I can't record video, I can't go back to the gallery. I can't on setting, that was an issue. But the camera still works, you can see the camera still works. The camera still works. Oh my god, there's so many issues with this custom ROM. Okay, uh, I hope I can see you guys next week with a better video. And uh, please check out my other videos, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, drop a like, uh, drop a dislike and let me know why. And I'll see you guys next week. Till then, bye, bye and have a great time. I don't know, I'm going to have a really bad time just because of this customer. So yeah, bye. See ya.